liberals. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thanks so much for coming, you guys. How's yeah. everybody doing tonight? Good. Yeah. Dasha, I feel like Stephen Hawking with this contraption. This thing? <laughs> yeah. I feel like we're kind of doing like a Zizek Peterson. We kind of we're, yeah, we're yeah, primed sort of. to have a debate. I'm Almost. discipline and she's punish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good cop, bad cop. Yep. Um, yep. I'm wearing our Red Scare shirt that I'll be selling hopefully at the box office after. Yeah. Um, how's it going, Anna? It's all right. I took a, a beta blocker from hers that Dasha off that so I kindly got a prescription to for on the internet. So if I wet myself and or faint or pass out on stage, <laughs> it's not my fault. They're very safe. That's why you can get them online. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, you talked to a doctor and he asked me what my blood pressure was and I said normal and he <laughs> said you know you have to go to like a drug store and put your arm in a thing and my blood pressure was pretty high and Wait, I you, just lied and said it was the you bright. went to the doctor and they didn't have a blood pressure control. I didn't go to a doctor I was chatting with a doctor on the oh, internet okay. to try and get beta blockers <laughs> on the HERS website fantastic yeah also, female Viagra. Yeah. Just kidding. What is female Viagra? Does anybody know? <laughs> like, what's in it? Yeah, it's just Horny like a roofie. Weed. It makes you pass out <laughs> so that you're, like, functionally able to have sex with men. <laughs> yeah, it gets you really drunk. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know what's in it. Adderall? Adderall makes me pretty horny, honestly. Does I it? Kinda, I kind of had a sexual reawakening lately. Oh, yeah, because you went to Montreal and saw some <laughs> Catholic <laughs> iconography. Yeah. And some people jacking off. Oh, uh, right. At that porn theater. Yeah. It's but really the mix but what of experiences. Did it? Was it the people jacking off or the Catholic it iconography? It was both. The tension like, of the two in one yeah. place is the, very yeah. erotic. Yeah, the palpable tension. So um, what, what's on the docket today? Oh, well, the Gravel Teens couldn't be here because they got inv invited to Miami Ugh, for the sorry <laughs> for the debates that Gravel is not participating in for a debate that nobody invited us to cool. <laughs> and yet no one invited us um, but we look forward to catching up with them at a later date yeah um, we, we Gravel to is still in the running for July debates so if you want more of those sassy leftist teens you know where to donate your money to <laughs> Is he going to get the teens to debate for him? Because I doubt he can, like, he's, like, 98 years old. He's not going to be able to stand on stage. People are really starting to speculate if it's elder abuse, honestly. <laughs> that would I've be the greatest whispers. arc of the story if, it, if they could spin, like, a true crime HBO special out of it. <laughs> we just have to decide beforehand which one of the Gravel teens we're going to sleep with, respectively. Right, so that we don't have to talk about it when yeah. it's too late. Yeah, exactly. and make it awkward. <laughs> They're not going to come on the show anymore now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we were going to talk about the Democratic debates yeah. upcoming Wednesday and Thursday. Yeah, mm. we're going to rank all the candidates. Did by you guys know there's hotness. 24 candidates? Tulsi is obviously the hottest. Yeah, that's a no-brainer. Yeah, um, <laughs> I'm not disputing that. Yeah, Tracy. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we looked into all 24 candidates, which I thought would be fun <laughs> because uh, politics is like uh, like a sanctioned way to be gossipy and rude. Yeah. Under the guise of uh, being political. But it turns out a lot of them are really boring. Like you, it's, you're pretty hard pressed to find something interesting I to don't say. know how we're going to do an hour of material about these people who all look like the same kind of undifferentiated mass of like Lizard. mashed potatoes to me. I can't <laughs> tell the difference from that for, like, between any of them. And it's not because they're like cishet white men or whatever. Oh, that's part of it. That's part of it. But they're all very kind of like boring and non-committal and I guess overall they need to do something do something exciting they need to make a statement an orgy an orgy <laughs> like exactly. a pussy riot style orgy mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they really have to come out against Trump as like the party of like free love and recreational sexual. drug use yeah the Dems could use a little sexual awakening themselves yeah um so shall we? Yeah. Should we um, just get into it? I have, yeah, like, I'm going to consult so many my phone. notes. Cause, um, oh, yeah, we have some notes. I'm, like, re really glad, actually, the Gravel teens did not come 
did not show because I was Why? not looking forward to be the being like the oldest person on stage. <laughs> I'm like old to, You're old still the to oldest be there. Like I know stage, that's true, but like it's just two of us, not like. Two I hate boys, to think yeah. of time passing and aging, yeah. of course. Yeah, I was like, Ugh. I can be breastfeeding you in most uh, kind of like Central Asian and Caucasian republics. <laughs> Join us next week when we breastfeed the Gravel team. <laughs> <laughs> um, so do we want to jump right into it? Do we want to talk about anything else? Should what we, else is in the news? Should we touch I've on I've honestly it? just been... I, looking up Red Scare on Twitter and seeing what mean things people are saying about it. Tasha, do you name search? Yeah. Yeah. People are really mad at us. We've been besieged and beleaguered. <laughs> it's true. And I can't look away. It's really sick. Because Adam's out of town, too. I like, I'm like. i just like... Yeah. Oh, my like apartment's like squalor. <laughs> like There's like flies up. in There's my apartment. My dog's depressed. I'm no like air conditioning. what the haters have to say. It sucks. All for the crime of defending a multi-millionaire comic. I'm... <laughs> Which we, it's not wrong yeah. to protect the strong. Oh, Who's going to defend go. rich oh, the white live sexual I'm, predators? I'm retweeting the us. live stream right now. Yeah. Uh, the green space. Anna and Dasha bring their unique perspective on politics, culture, and what's going on in the world today. Oh, exciting! You it could call it that. Do, yeah. Do I have to? I'll RT too. Oh, I guess. I'm like, look. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a video of myself in real time on my phone, and Ugh. that's what I'm looking at. Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay. Jesus. I did a, sh- a shady thing and like shepherded Dasha out first so I could sit in this seat because this is my good side and that's good your good side. side. That This is why we, we're like yin and yang. We're very instinctually work together. Yeah. You dress nice. I dress like a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're a Virgo. Leo cuss. I'm an Aquarius Pisces cuss. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're like <laughs> the crowd goes wild. Compatible. Anyway, um, okay, I'm gonna RT this live stream for the haters, and then, and then we will get to the festivities. I mean, people really have said that we've said things that I really don't think we have. I see so many people on Twitter being like, "I heard an episode where they said that fat people should be executed." <laughs> And I like, like don't I didn't recall. say that. I just it's said possible. that they should do more labor. It's <laughs> they've got to burn those calories a labor somehow. Camp. Yeah. Not a death camp. AOC said it was okay to say concentration camps on TV <laughs> oh, and Twitter. Oh no. Um, no, but it is like stunt. They said that we were ma- mocking Jewish names, which is hilarious because like I don't know. We've been jostling we've said for for a way into the Illuminati since we were born. <laughs> I want to. I want to. I, I want to fight for the privilege to throw those triple parentheses around my name. Is this NPR? No. No. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Good question. <laughs> um, should we talk about Iran, the, the country of the mullahs? <laughs> what? It's a. It's a trending uh, news topic, and I just did a 23 and Me and learned that I'm a Persian Armenian, so I'm going to claim you did POC a status. Me? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. 23andMe is actually actively cock blocking people from claiming POC status because they've recoded Middle Eastern as West Asian, which sounds less ethnic in my mind because it has that Western, you know. Asian's term. POC. Yeah, but. <laughs> Not like yeah. the other ones for sure. Yeah. They're, they're the model minority. I may be a model, but I'm not a minority. <laughs> But yeah, you're Persian, we found out. Yeah. Well, what else is going on in the genetic makeup? I, I mean, nothing. <laughs> I don't know. It's depressing. I, uh, I guess Trump is signing more sanctions into effect against Iran because they really want to like goad these people into war, which sucks. But he didn't bomb them. He said no. I have no he idea. He was about to. He was, he yeah. Said, Woo. <laughs> uh, it's, go- it's great. Yeah. Hell Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but Tucker I think Carlson told him not to. Is that what happened? Tuck, Tucker Carlson called Iran a history civilization. I'm really stunned. This man keeps rising to the occasion. He's like, he's like um, the most progressive <laughs> leftist we have of all time, basically. Finally, a reasonable voice on the left. Yeah. He should we really. Can't, like, we can't be doing all the heavy lifting. I know. He needs to throw that rose emoji into his handle, <laughs> and then it's over for these hoes. 
Um, but he's he's right to some extent, and I say this with like like with no insult to the United States, but American history is really like not a pimple on the ass of Iranian civilization, which is like ruled for millennia and produced a lot of like cool culture and poetry and gugush, mm-hmm. my favorite pop singer. Um, <laughs> so I feel like it would be really like particularly hazardous to to go to war. With, with Iran. yet another Middle Eastern country, but <laughs> Iran in particular. Well, we're not going to. No. Well, you Hopefully. know, it remains to be seen. Yeah, we'll see. We're not policy experts here, <laughs> nor are we psychics. <laughs> we can't. <laughs> we can't predict the future. Uh, oh, what else? Bernie is going to cancel student debt. Mm. This, this very cute. I love that he's a pro using the language of the young people like. Yeah, cancel. That's the only cancel culture I want to hear about is Bernie uh, eliminating the student debt. I know you like to cancel people. And what if we, <laughs> what if we canceled the debt? <laughs> uh, good for him. It seems like a more robust and like exciting proposal than Warren. Well, good for us. Yeah, I, the, I guess we don't have student debt. We, I mean, good for, good us, for us as millennials. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah, we really dodged that bullet. Seriously, by having immigrant parents, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, no, Bernie did, I guess, propose to uh, he he proposed a plan or a package to cut the 1.6 trillion student debt trillion. in the United States, which seems actually pretty low. It went. <laughs> I thought, thought no, seriously. Wait, hold on, bear with me for a minute. I thought it would be like much higher. What? Okay, I thought it would be like in the billions. I was surprised when it, the numbers came out. I'm just, I, well, uh, I've been in what school were you for so a long. A bajillion? Yes, well. yeah. <laughs> like a space budget or something, yeah. <laughs> because yeah, I'm it's so not even that big of a deal. By, yeah, it's, but he proposed um, cutting it by taxing Wall Street. Um, and people got kind of butt, a little bit butt hurt because they were like, well, you know, Liz Warren's not getting enough credit for proposing a similar bill earlier this month, which is, you know, bullshit because hers had, like, eligibility tiers. And, like, only partial coverage. Yeah. She didn't make it up. It's not her thing. Yeah. She She didn't make it it up like she made up her Native American heritage. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not anti-Warren. I'm not either. I actually... The one one thing that um, I do... I am on board with Warren about... um, is that um, she's very kind of anti... She's into, like, tech antitrust, which is, like, my policy issue mm-hmm. if I ever run for office. Single you know? issue. Yeah. yeah, my one issue. I just think it's time we had a lesbian in the White House. <laughs> is she or isn't she? Well, you know, Hillary Clinton tried and failed. <laughs> she should have made um, Huma Abedin her running mate, and then it would have been the first time that we had two chicks in the White House who were also eating each other out. Live. You guys have heard that rumor, though, right? Yeah. We- <laughs> <laughs> Wiener should get in the race, honestly. Why not? He should. He's really, like... He's less delusional than these other people running. Than Tim Ryan. <laughs> oh, Jesus yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, so boring. Sh- should we launch into uh, our uh, we're gonna like roast the candidates i'm this the the whole purpose of the show spoiler alert is that it, it's gonna come back to the fact that bernie's the only viable candidate but you guys already know that so Anna. you know the jig is up spoiler alert bernie or buzz um we can end the live stream now um <laughs> yeah drop the mic yeah i so we have some notes so they've guess, split here? the debates randomly into two nights yeah. 10 and 10. They uh-huh. capped it at 20, even though there's more like 24 people running. But some didn't quite make the cut. Because mm-hmm. you have to poll at 1%, at least. And, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, and then you need 65,000 individual donors. Mm-hmm. Um, which is why I think Gravel didn't make the cut. Yeah. Well, also because he's going to die soon. <laughs> he's on the brink of death. I'm really interested in, in seeing who goes first, Gravel, Kissinger, or Bill Cosby. How old is Bill Cosby? I mean, he's like in his late 80s, I would say. I have no yeah, idea. Yeah, and he's under a lot of stress. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Bill Cosby did something wrong. I'll be. I'll tell. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I will. I will go on record as saying that he, he did for something sure wrong. Did. Uh, so Warren. Warren is is that <laughs> is that the first one? Wednesday. Wednesday. It's Warren Beto Booker Klobuchar Inslee Castro Tulsi De Blasio Tim Ryan <laughs> the Tim Ryan we all definitely know and love yeah and John Delaney. I got overexcited because I thought it said Rob Delaney for a minute. And I was like, yes, go off he's Queen hot. DSA. He's hot. <laughs> he's hot and a communist. And then it was this guy, John Delaney, which I don't know Ooh. anything about anything. Yeah. I have extensive notes. Yeah. Based I, on Wikipedia pages. I know. I had to, We had like probably like 24 tabs open at some point. Yeah. Like I, I type, in, I type in, I open the Wikipedia, I go straight to personal life. And then <laughs> I see what I can take them down for. A Quaker. You saw what happened with Nixon. We don't want a president Hicken Looper. That just sounds <laughs> awkward. Of course, it's not going to be Hicken Looper. Yeah, That's crazy. Uh, so Warren and Bernie won't be on the same debate <sighs> on Wednesday. They'll be well. That makes night. sense. I guess it's like the playoffs. They have to like eliminate all their <laughs> other foes and then face off with one another. I really want Klobuchar to drop out. I don't know why. I really just feel like she's a dumbass. She's just going to be doing I this. can't tell her apart from Kirsten Gillibrand. Gillibrand. I really like, they're all the same to me. Gillibrand's blonder. She's blonder and hotter. And a little hotter. And her thing is more about like, she's really into being a chick. And Klobuchar okay. is like only kind of into being a, a woman. Yeah, she has short and she hair. she abuses yeah. her staff. Oh, right. <laughs> I forgot and about she that. she ate that salad with a coma. I can't forget <laughs> that. That was so damning when it came out that she ate a salad with a comb. I mean, I that's... I was like, you're not fit to be president. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> and then told one of her, like, long-suffering interns to clean the comb. <laughs> To, like pick the lettuce out of the teeth of the comb. They have binders of people. Mm. Uh, but Beto will be on the debate stage on Wednesday or on Thursday. Wednesday. Debate number one with his chiclet teeth. Yeah, with his chiclet teeth, his skateboard. Yeah, uh, his war tax, which oh, right. is so a tax that he would. <laughs> yeah, because it sounds like a, a, hard, a hardcore single. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like his band War Tax is going on tour. <laughs> I mean, wasn't his um, hacker name like Psychopathic Warlord or something? Yeah, it was. Or he's like yeah. obsessed with war. <laughs> yeah, he's from Texas, and this is clearly a move to pander to like centrist Texans and not. He's not making a real presidential bid. Basically, he should be disqualified. <laughs> Yeah. No one likes like no nobody one, likes no Beto. one likes it's really neck and neck between no one likes him Wartag. and Buttigieg who people hate more. Buttigieg ha people hate more. Really? They well now they do. The major strike against Pete Buttigieg is that gay people hate him even more than any straight people <laughs> could. He got well, excommunicated from his own community for being a dork. <laughs> well and black people really, brown hate, him. really hate him. Did I he? mean, why wouldn't they? Yeah. <laughs> well, he, he he doesn't look. I know a lot of people likened him to like Alfred E. Newman, the Mad Magazine boy. A lot of boy. people, a Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump. Like oh, I forgot that. Alfred E. Newman. Um, but he looks like <laughs> a lot of people have been saying that well, there's something looks, called presidential harassment. <laughs> I mean, spotlight. But he looks like a manager at Ross Dress for Less. He's the kind of guy that would accuse black people preemptively of shoplifting. Well, there was a shooting. An office, a police officer killed a black guy in his town. Right. Oh, and he was he in no a town show hall there yesterday. At the cookout, because he was afraid to be around black people. No, he went to the cookout. <laughs> oh, I thought he didn't show up to the cookout. Did he go to the? He didn't go to the cookout. He Thank didn't you, go Tracy. to the. Fact check. Yeah. Nice, Anna. Yeah. <laughs> Anna's Got winning the debate right. so far. <laughs> right. Um, but they're still really mad at him. Yeah. Who's mad at him? Black Every, people. Everybody. I mean, they should. The black everybody should be mad at him. They should. People should be mad at this guy that he had the audacity to run, mm -hmm. not only as like a small town mayor, which is actually kind of admirable, but mayor as like P. yeah, but also as like a a trader of gays. He's mm -hmm. a gay trader. Why? Because he's like buttoned up. 
and not like doing poppers. <laughs> what? I mean, okay, but what kind of self-respecting homosexual would enter the military unless it was really kind of a, a thing of financial necessity? Sure. Yeah, he's a vet. A lot of vets in, in the running. Though. Yeah, there are. Yeah, Tulsi. Tulsi's a vet. That's cool. Yeah, she. I want to see like cool um, a pinup calendar of all the female candidates. Kamala, Kamala Harris. She can lock me up and throw away the key. She's a fine ass woman. She is a gorgeous. She's woman. a gorgeous woman. She really is. I think. Yeah, like, her like a like a cop and like a sexy cop outfit with like some the hand warden. Cups. Yeah. <laughs> that would be great. I think like we need probably we probably need and deserve a female president. So maybe we should elect the person who's like the hottest because <laughs> the other criteria are really glaringly lacking anyway. So Tulsi then? Yeah, probably. I'm team lesbian. Get a lesbian in there. Is Tulsi a lesbian? She's no. not. She looks like she could be though. She's like, she looks Kinda. like a character on the L word. Like a lip, yeah. Like kind of a cool Gen X girl in a cropped tank top <laughs> sipping a beer <laughs> at the Clyburn cookout. That um, picture of all of them at the cookout wearing those blue shirts, it looks like um, when they do Q&As at like shorts programming, <laughs> you know, <laughs> any film festival goers, <laughs> and then everyone has to stand on stage in this like super embarrassing way and then answer like one question each. Yeah. It sucks. It's like a beauty pageant for ugly people. <laughs> I mean, it's basically, it's, what did Roger Stone say? He said politics was like uh, show business for ugly people and mm -hmm. spot the lie. But I, feel, I felt like this cookout and like the debates are basically like watching other people's kids at a talent show. It's <laughs> like, you, <laughs> you don't care. Like all these like theater nerds overperforming and you hate them <laughs> because they have shitty personalities and you can anticipate <clears throat> what kind of adults they're going to be. But you also have to, show respect to their parents and be nice to children. <laughs> I mean, just look at who we have in office. Yeah. A big, These like charismatic big. voids can't, couldn't possibly compete. Yeah. Beta that's true. In a way. No. Um, I mean, did you, what was the thing that Trump tweeted that was like the Time Magazine? It was like a Roman Imperial, like Trump 2020. Oh, Trump, the Trump, Trump 2020. 2020 <laughs> Trump going 30,000. <000. laughs> it was... <laughs> Oh my god. That was so funny. <laughs> he doesn't realize he's going to die. Well, he will live on in our memories. He is forever immortal as the greatest conceptual <laughs> he, artist of the century. He's going to reign for 10,000 like, yeah. 30,000 years. That's crazy. I mean, it's like it's literally like the Roman Empire Who where they're going to install like a succession of even more like mentally impaired and inbred people like Baron Trump for president. He's like the Caligula, like doing experiments on women and small animals in the White House. Sorry. Um, do you have any other thoughts on Beto? <laughs> yeah, wait, do I? I have to, should, are we talking about Beto exclusively now? No, 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 no. I, I, my, open my notes. My notes say Beto skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> Mine then, say, let's see. <laughs> and when he went, when he was on the cover of Vanity Fair and he said, man, I'm just born to be in it. <laughs> <laughs> and then he took it back. Then he said, I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> Because people mocked him left he and right. rolled his sleeves up. Um, no, uh, mine just says, Beto, representative, comma, Texas, re comma, 46, cuck, exclamation point. <laughs> That's all I have for him. That's how the sausage is made. Yeah. That's how we generate the hot <laughs> yeah. takes. Um, okay, moving on. Booker. Yeah. Cory Booker, yeah. Rosario Dawson's boyfriend. Uh, lied about having a drug dealer friend named T-Bone. <laughs> <laughs> he wants clemency for nonviolent offenders. Cool. And he attacked Biden for like working with like segregationists. But way back when or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so back kind of I actually the uh, civil war. I think when Biden a was a little bitch. I think he's a fake ass hoe, but I kind of like him. 
Well, because he's a messy bitch like us. He likes taking <laughs> selfies. He's like, yeah, he's also clearly gay. And Rosario Dawson, who's a beautiful it's woman, his is his beard. Very obviously. We all, we yeah. all know that. And, you know, I'm partial to him because he's from but what a beard. New Jersey. Yeah, yeah right. A big, beautiful, bushy beard. Um, <laughs> he's from New Jersey. He really, like, uh, Newark. raped the shit out of Newark, which is a, a town that I used to drive by on the way to the airport. Yeah, I've been there. Yeah. <laughs> Newark, New York. <laughs> One of the poorest cities in the country, probably. Camden is. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm not up a year from New Jersey. Huh? You're from New Jersey. Yeah, unfortunately. It's yeah. Booker's fault. The landfill state. No, I mean, it's definitely not Booker's fault. Oh. He kind of inherited it, but. Mm. Um, uh, Clyburn introduced him as, quote, the selfie made man of the United States of America. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Which yeah, like millennials. We don't need a selfie president. <laughs> At that point, just fast track AOC and she can do makeup tutorial Trump doesn't from even, the White House. Trump doesn't even take selfies. No, he doesn't. I wish he would. He can't hold his arm high enough. <laughs> he would if he could. He can't get the right angles. Yeah. Do you think Melania t- takes self- selfies? Selfies? <laughs> Can you take oh. selfie of me? Oh. I'm sorry. Oh. I mean photo. Baron, come take selfie with me. <laughs> yeah, she probably does. She's a gorgeous woman. Why wouldn't she? Yeah, I think given this dog and pony show of like the democratic field, it would be cool if like, you know, Trump had another turn and then maybe uh, Melania ran and won and then <laughs> Don Jr. or, you know, one of those Uday and Kuse of the America's boys. America's boy. Yeah. And then it ends. So anyway, do we have anything else to Trump say about Trump is going to win he, again. Yeah, he probably will. Well, there's this there's all <laughs> this the rumbling in the po- the polls, the mm. polls that told us that Hillary would win, that Biden is going to take the cake, which uh-huh. he's basically like if you He's the front runner for the Democratic nominee. He is, yeah. But he's essentially like if you took all the worst excesses of Obama and Trump and combined them, <laughs> but made them way less Fun. funny mm-hmm. and cool <laughs> and aesthetically interesting. Ugh, I, yeah. I'm not looking forward to a Biden a Biden presidency. <laughs> yeah, the no filter presidency. He's like the, he's like the worst because he's basically like Trump and all these commentators are like, "Oh, well, you know, Biden his whole thing is that he's like a creepy old man and he does he just like <laughs> says what's on his mind." <laughs> so he's like basically Down senile and demented in the same way, but like not at all funny. Yeah. <laughs> he's also really old. But we both have um mental illness from being on Twitter too much. Yeah. So we actually have no insight into what's happening in the minds of other kinds of people. Um so to me it's not looking so good for Biden, but I'm sure that's definitely I not think the case. that intuitively it's probably not looking he was Obama. Yeah. You know. Nobody wa- I mean anyway, shall we move on? So Amy Klo- I guess we did oh, yeah, Biden. Klobuchar. Klobuchar. Uh abused her staff <laughs> middle of the road I wrote abused her staff again former prosecutor and then I saw New York Times thing that she said her comfort food you mm-hmm. know how they give them those little like prompts to get to know them a little better right. to pretend they're not totally lizards uh, she said she likes to eat a baked potato <laughs> oh and Booker said veggies that's so weird he's like I just like, go to sweet green in Soho <laughs> Comfort food. That's it's like weird that these people are be effectively being asked. Uh, they're like, are what you their a last human meal being? Is? Yeah. <laughs> well, like, are like, you a per? Can you confirm that you're a person with blood pumping through <laughs> your veins who's alive? And they're like, baked potato. <laughs> like, <laughs> like any normal human, of course I like to eat vegetable and <laughs> potato. <laughs> vegetable. <laughs> Canned fish. <laughs> Dasha, yeah, what would sorry, your... My comfort food? Yeah, it's conserva, which are canned yeah, fish. Yeah, I like so- canned sardines. Yeah. And kasha. <laughs> which is like Russian slop. Yeah, some various gruels. Gruel. I find the egg white Dunkin' Bowl very comforting. Mm-hmm. I- Woo! Thank you, Dan. Hi, Dan. <laughs> I just turned over to see your beautiful face. 340 calories. 
That's a lot for egg whites. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a lot. For an when egg white, there's supposed to be like 68 calories. It's a, a little piece. Bo- It has other I've stuff. I've looked in into it. this, obviously. If there's other stuff. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> What's your comfort food, Anna? What's your uh, low calorie comfort food then? Uh, I don't know. Probably sweet green or those Swedish gummy candies that have been prop- popping up on mm. every corner of New York. The, go- the Swedish fish? Yeah, like a bonbon or soccer bit. Oh. Yeah, you and Leia are really big on the, on the, yeah, the gummy, gummy scene. Candies, I'm not yeah. quite, I'm not <laughs> I don't know about all that. Um, I like French onion soup too. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> Broth, so comforting. You know, the meanest <laughs> thing that people say about us is that they constantly mock our taste in food, which I think is actually c- rather nuanced and elevated. Mm. <laughs> are they mocking our taste in food? I haven't Yeah, noticed. they think it's disgusting because we eat like weird Russian salads, which are not <laughs> salad. They're like ham covered in mayonnaise. <laughs> They're mayonnaise based salads, which is a salad. Yeah. Uh, Jay Inslee. Uh, I'm doing the Norm MacDonald thing again. All the stars are here. <laughs> Jay Inslee is sort of a single issue candidate running on climate change and he's the governor of Washington state. Yeah, I watched Pretty a boring. New York Times Q&A with him. I thought I would do this for every candidate but ga- gave up after one guy and <laughs> <laughs> he was the guy. He was like very mediocre and physically and rhetorically unimpressive and did the thing where uh, the interviewer was like, so you support Medicare, Medicare for all? And he was like, uh, uh, I don't do not. It's like waffle. Yeah. It's like the you know the Matrix where he like swerves. It's like that. A lot of that with these candidates, they just like don't commit, even when they ostensibly support an issue. Losers and cowards. Yeah, they can't That's ever why. say like yes, I unequivocally support abortion on demand or whatever. They will never say that. I know they can't. <laughs> Did you hear about the mentally disabled lady? That oh God, I an do not want to okay. touch. No, we can. T- uh, there, there's a thing that Dasha sent me this morning <laughs> about a mentally disabled in the UK. woman in the UK. Who the government? The a judge ruled that she had to have an abortion. Yeah, because she has allegedly the intellect of a six to nine year old child, which there, there's a big variance in, in her mother. From six to nine. <laughs> There, is, there really is. That's like a, I was that's in diapers true. when I was six and fucking when I was nine. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I was breastfeeding the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we don't have to talk about it. It's you know, it it feels morally it feels very wrong. Yeah, to make someone have an abortion, but then you're like, but the best interest argument does kind of make sense to me. It. Because her mother seems like, her mother's like, I'll take care of the baby. So it's like, her mom's probably pro-life. And she's a midwife. And how'd she get pregnant? We don't know. <laughs> Ongoing investigation. Yeah. That's a, there's a lot of details More that are will be not revealed. provided. Yeah, we can't really, we can't get into it until. But it actually seems psychotic and crazy for a UK court to rule that this woman has to undergo a mandatory abortion. For, it, considering that both the social worker assigned to the case and her mother are saying that it's wrong and that they want to raise the kid. Wow, that this topic really <laughs> sucked the air out of the room. Oh, it's awful. Yeah, we'll move on. Yeah. Um, Jane Slee Boring sucks. Uh, good for him for lo- to loving climate change. Julian Castro. Um, Some people next. call him the Hispanic Obama. Um, personally, I think he is a lizard. Yeah, <laughs> he has the most lizardy physique. He's the Hispanic uh, Jay Inslee. <laughs> <laughs> He's the Hispanic Tim Ryan. Yeah. Or, uh, <laughs> I can't. Their names don't do, don't even stick. I know they head. don't. They don't stick. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Whatever. I tried to read a couple of Jacobin articles about how he was neoliberal, so I'm sure they're they're right. <laughs> he's he's 44 and he looks like he's 24, which is creepy. He's like he, Benjamin Buttons. He has a backwards. twin. Yeah, that's yeah. He's almost like AOC. No, he has like a, a brother who's <laughs> maybe possibly thoughty. Have we looked into this? <laughs> we investigated Julian Castro's brother. No, um, we haven't. He was the youngest member of Obama's cabinet, and he was like the Secretary of Housing and Urban Development, which is which means he wreaked a lot of havoc. By I think he just, you know, he didn't. The housing crisis wasn't in that 
span of time, but like he didn't really make things better. Yeah. So he doesn't have any credibility. And that's he sort of oversaw a lot of foreclosures. Yeah. And now he's like singing the tune that um, he's, like, he he's a, a unique any... authority on people's housing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Next, yeah. Next, Tulsi does yoga. Um, I wrote, she's too good of a person, much like us. She's unwilling to victimize herself. <laughs> and that's really um, why she's not getting a lot of traction, I think, in the media and whatnot. Yeah, people are jealous she's being of her pretty she's hot. Also, like us. <clears throat> it's really interesting that people are so gung-ho. I mean, I look, they're not kind of on the same level, but people are so gung-ho about AOC being kind of like a woman of color front runner, like political mm -hmm. firebrand, but uh, are very kind of like mad at Tulsi. I don't know. I mean, I fundamentally mistrust anyone who would want to be a politician in America in 2019, <laughs> but she seems kind of like the least bad of all of them. And is, and is kind of interested in engaging with like tough and complicated issues. Yeah, and she'll have a long political career. She'll be fine. Not if we all die in 2050. Wow. Okay, <laughs> bummer. Uh, John Delaney, a former Maryland congressman. Here's a quote from him. I think I'm the right person for the job, but not enough people knew who I was or still know who I am. <laughs> I was like, damn, that's so true. <laughs> He also describes himself as a pragmatic idealist, and he's been running for president since 2017. Okay, so he's a vicious ideologue, and he should probably just like cut his losses and become a stand-up comic. <laughs> <laughs> no one cares. No one cares about him. No, I, I don't know what he looks like. I don't know what he stands for. We'll see whatever. how he fares in the debates. My my question is, what's like the non-linear uh. strategic warfare thing of having so many Democratic candidates who are all equally unmemorable? Uh, lo being lo a loser. Yeah, <laughs> having a lot like of edge losers. Biden along. <laughs> um, Bill de Blasio. He's only 58. He looks like shit. Yeah, he looks bad. I thought he was 76. Bernie looks better than Bill de Blasio. Okay. The greatest city in the world. New York City. New York City, the city of dreams. We all love it. Can somebody play that Alicia Keys song about <laughs> New York? <laughs> His son Dante, who he posted a really embarrassing fabricated exchange with today on Twitter, like where he's like he's like dad, like just be yourself on the debate stage. He's like, hello, it's like, hello, text, hello, son. Like, like, do you have hey, any son, advice? What is your advice as a dreamer and a millennial, like not an immigrant dreamer, just like a person who dreams, um, for but, me to win the presidential nomination? Mm -hmm. And then his son is like, you just have to be yourself and talk about issues that concern millennials. Yeah. And then they shake hands. And then and I like, think it ends with like, thanks coach or something yeah. like that. Um, but Dante de Hello, fellow kids is a cum boy, I've heard. And I'd love to get a, a fan of cum town in the, in the White House. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be nice. I Just mean, I close. feel like Donald Trump would be a fan of cum town if they could he get knew what on a his podcast radar. Was. Yeah. <laughs> if a lot, a lot of things would. A lot of factors, yeah. I saw, um, I saw... Dante de Blasio is that his name that's a real porny kind of name good for him <laughs> walking down the street today where at he was in up the in East Dime Village Square. in the East Village he was just like hanging out in bicycle shorts and in retrospect I was like you did not author that text exchange with your dad <laughs> hey dad how can I make your presidential <laughs> journey better it just sucks because how can we trust Bill de Blasio as a presidential candidate and a future potential president mm -hmm. if he just cost his son like a lifetime of pussy <laughs> by implicating him in this pathetic online exchange. I bet Dante's still pulling, honestly. He's cute. He's cute. Yeah. He looks like James Ferraro. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Kinda. Maybe he doesn't. I Maybe thought you were going to say he looked like James Franco. Like, no, that's not really true. No, but. not at all. Uh, de Blasio only has like 700 Instagram followers. <laughs> another thing I found out today in my research. That sucks. But Wait, that's, a, that's another thing that we should l look into consistently because it seems like, I wonder what like the follower count is across platforms for politicians. It's probably less on Instagram because they're not being like thoughty or posting memes. <laughs> 
Yeah, de Blasio doesn't have any like peasant tops that yeah. he can <laughs> take pictures, and he doesn't know about uh, the May Two face tuning app or whatever. No, but he should he should get on that. All the Democratic candidates should be face tuning, <laughs> making their faces really shiny, <laughs> wearing bicycle shorts, fake freckles, fake freckles, <laughs> like the dab of highlighter on the nose and on the cupid's <laughs> bow and on the chin forehead. All the presidential nominees or candidates should have uh, contouring done before they get photographed in if these. You're like, not putting a tiny dab of highlighter in the middle of your nose. <laughs> what are you even doing? You're unfit to be president. <laughs> I do like that De Blasio is being messy. He's been he's really kind been kind of. of leveraging his quote multicultural family mm-hmm. a lot. He went after Biden too as well. For what? Oh, for oh, he used he said the n word on Twitter, Twitter with a asterisk, with a st- yeah, star. Full like, but he was like Joe Biden, like your friend says the n word or whatever. I don't know what the point was. It was shocking. <laughs> yeah, um, it was. It, no, it was legitimately and- scandalizing. I was. How do people str- constantly hate on us when the mayor of New York City is saying the n word on Twitter? Are you crazy? And the trains are a goddamn mess. <laughs> Stay here. What do you mean? You can't go be the president. <laughs> we need over here. <laughs> Fix. We the should. Trains. I propose a trade. The White House gets De Blasio. We get Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He belongs here in New York. He's from New York. Among his fellow Jews mm-hmm. and Queens. <laughs> Going to Dave's Army Navy. Sorry, I'm like drunk and slurring my speech. Oh my god. No, no, no. Ugh. You're doing amazing, sweetie. Uh, okay, who's next? Tim Ryan. Oh yeah, we covered him already. We don't know who he is. He changed his tune on abortion, and his DMs are open. Those are my notes that Dasha fed me earlier. Yeah, I told, well, those are my notes. I told, yeah, his whole thing is like anti-gun, pro-abortion, but like nothing else of substance. I watched like a little twenty questions with him where he said that one of the questions was like, "Have you ever been starstruck?" And he was like, "I was." He told, said he was starstruck by Macron. And he said his favorite movie was Love Actually. He's so fake. He's such a loser. Not how to lose a guy in 10 days. He's trying wrong so hard to try and be a real person and he's failing miserably. He can't do it. He's like if, if that algorithm that Hillary used to get like her polling numbers became sentient. <laughs> I am horny. My DMs are open. I'm sad that Lee Carter isn't running. In. Honestly, I might say what's up. You should slide in. You should perpetuate a great. I like troll. to flirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Garcetti, mayor of Los Angeles, followed me on Twitter. I think still wow. does. Wow. Very cool. And I did DM him and I said, "What's up?" <laughs> Are he, you and Raya? He didn't respond. <laughs> but he could tell that I was a really important person in LA. Mm-hmm. On the podcasting. <laughs> and circuit. he's hot. He's Jewish. Garcetti. Oh really? <laughs> Wait, that sounds Italian. It does Something not. doesn't add up. <laughs> you know, Jews, Italians are the same. It's fine. Sort of. Yeah. Elliot Spitzer should run. <laughs> He's more disgraced than Anthony Weiner, and equally as Jewish. Weiner has my vote, honestly. <laughs> Weiner, Weiner really yeah. had my vote unt- up until the decisive moment where he propped his baby against his erection (laughs) not only for scale but also to be like one of those guys that's walking like a french bulldog or pomeranian through the west village to like gain sympathy from signify that he has a child yeah well at least black people like him they don't like mayor pete no yeah i believe that Biden. Biden. Moving on. Night two. Can you imagine? Night two. Yeah, there's two gonna nights. Gonna, they're going to be doing this boring dog and pony show there's charade 12, in Miami when they could be like debates. railing lines at some mega club with some like hot sluts and bandage dresses. Mm-hmm. Biden. Sleepy slash creepy. Uh, he can't come back. He's not going to bounce back from that. Um, he's doesn't think nothing will change fundamentally if he's elected but people are obsessed with the status quo so his odds are pretty good he's definitely the most status quo candidate that we have absolutely it would really be hilarious if we like went two steps back and then another step back by electing (laughs) biden 
just full regret regression. Yeah, I won't vote for Biden. No, I wouldn't either. I'd vote for Elizabeth Warren or Kamala Harris over Joe Biden, not because they're women. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I'm not. Who, who are we kidding? I'm not going to vote. I'm going to hide behind my immigrant status. Even you I've might. Been a citizen you for might. Like Twenty vote. years. It's really hard to get a New York ID. I'm being actually yeah. suppressed as a voter, and that's not my fault. Yeah. So. Oh, Tony, I did not get New York ID. I cannot yeah, vote. Tony, Therefore, I only David have Hockney. <laughs> I only have passport. I can't. I don't have utility bills. I lost my passport at the club. <laughs> Getting bottle service from Donald Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Making people have utility bills to get an ID is discrimination against people with boyfriends. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm like, someone else handles this and I don't want me to fucking say. <laughs> it's not my problem. Do you want to see my SAG dudes? <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Who are we talking about next? Kamala. Kamala. Um, Kamala, Cop. She's she will not speak on reparations. Mm. And she did the, the whole... It's like T Tim Ryan did the whole thing where he was like, um, I, I've changed my tune about abortion because I had a baby when I was in my 30s or whatever. And it's like, well, you're a man. You don't get to weigh in. Um, but Kamala did the same thing with the legalization of weed. Yeah. Where she was like, yeah, kind of like uh, whoring out her Jamaican heritage to be like, hey, we listen to Bob Marley and smoke a lot of weed. And her dad was like, uh, whatever, no, you don't. <laughs> And did you see how like her whole the, uh, the her whole graphic design and color scheme and everything is sort of like a subtle wretched of the earth kind no, of? I, oh, no, I no. You gotta look at them side by side. It's it's really a sight to be. You know, I'm so weak and stupid that she gets a pass in my book because I think she's really hot. That's, <laughs> mm, I won't do it. She looks great in eyeshadow and like neutrals. <laughs> Like a real 90s woman. I could see her like prosecuting people in the 90s. Mm -hmm. Tough as nails. The only one who can take down Trump. Is Kamala Harris. I don't know about that. No, but. I'm just kidding, obviously. Is she, is, she, is she still doing collusion narrative, Tracy? Yeah, yeah, yeah FYI. Who, um, who, I mean, we, I forgot to do the kind of like the Excel spreadsheet of which Dems are and aren't doing the collusion narrative. Um... Mm, my notes. Uh, Swalwell, who I'll get to, is really is like today was talking about it, about how we need to investigate Trump's financial ties with Russia. Pete Buttigieg. Oh, I thought we covered him. We kind of did. He's gay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, gay black people hate him. Uh, he's done. I don't know. South Bend. What do you think he's going to do after he fails to be president miserably? I guess he gets to keep being the mayor? Yeah, I guess it's a small price to pay. How long can you be a mayor? It seems like forever. Indefinitely, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, they're like, people don't want to shake things up. Um, oh, Gillibrand. Gillibrand. Is it Gillibrand or Gillibrand? It sounds like a weird lizard Just exile stop, name, yeah. <laughs> Kirsten. <laughs> Kirsten is like the name of every like annoying kind of like Germanic girl in my high school mm -hmm. who was like an insufferable horse girl and could like <laughs> run the mile in under eight minutes oh. but then got fat. What's your mile time? 9.30. Wow. Yeah, I did it today. Nuh-uh. Yeah, I ran... I did some cardio in preparation for this because I'm like a socially anxious person so I have to like relieve stress by going to the gym obsessively. God. I just medicate myself. Yeah. <laughs> I regulate every Cars, emotion yeah. I have with a, a pill that I get off the internet. <laughs> um, uh, she's behind Medicaid for all. Yeah, Medicare. but all of them are. But that's like a really <laughs> remarkable thing because not all of them, but like a, a no, lot of not Democrats all of are. There's like two types of Democrats now. It's like the ones that are kind of like nominally behind Medicaid for all and then the others that are like sort of 
uh, well, we should offer a public option to compete with like private mm. interests, yada, yeah, yada. yeah. But it's really remarkable. I think like on the whole, Democrats have been sh shifting kind of left on policy issues, but which M4A people, is like the bare minimum. Yeah, it's the bare I minimum. Think. But people people have welcomed this with open arms. But what they kind of neglect to consider is that they would shift backward just as quickly depending on like the cultural climate and whoever was paying their checks they have no convictions they don't really like meaningfully subscribe to any of the positions that they wrap except for one man named yeah. bernard sanders <laughs> bernardo sanders who's been saying sanders. the same type of stuff <laughs> since warren was a republican it's true he's very consistent and i think that's very important yeah He's so old, and he's been saying the same thing for decades. I read kind of a hit piece on Gigli Brand, uh, where she flipped on gun control after meeting the uh, mother of a shooting victim, and then it was an interview with yeah. But like the then they like followed up with the mother, and she was like, "I haven't heard from her in ten years." <laughs> she, <laughs> she offered like, to I don't pay my her. kids tuition, but she d declined and disappeared. And she, she told her apparently, "Your daughter won't have died in vain," and she just hasn't been super vigilant about passing. Well, it's funny that you say this because I did a morality test on the internet perfect. before I you came got a perfect here. score. I mean, I mean, no, my I was. What? It was really bad. Um, <laughs> really? As far as what, but, what was your score? I mean, there's no score, but like you're either um, like a liberal or a libertarian or a conservative guess. What are you? you? Guys can guess which one I am. Um, but my favorite one was the one about. <laughs> um, it was like a very similar thing about like how like Sarah's dying mother asks her to visit her grave. And after she dies, Sarah doesn't visit it, and you have to rate it on like a scale of like morally reprehensible to morally neutral to like yes, queen, that's the best <laughs> thing to do. What did you say? Neutral. Yeah, that's just reasonable. Yeah, I mean, but it's kind of dark if you do that as like a public servant, like a civil servant. Don't you, like, visit renege your on your grave. promises to like. Well, they just stand for nothing. She did in that same little survey I saw, um, said her comfort food was whiskey. That's cool. Good for her. She's trying a little too hard, but... Yeah. Cool. She's like the pick me girl. I'm not like the other girls. Yeah. Like when girls on Tinder say they're into whiskey. Yeah. They say they're into calm down. <laughs> uh, Michael Bennett. Never heard of him. Right. The son of Tony Bennett. Bennett with one T. <laughs> Colorado senator. Here's Bennett two, with here's one two T. Quotes from makes him me I sick. In like a New York Times 18 to 20 questions, whatever it is. They asked him, um, in an ideal world, would people be able to have handguns? And he said, in an ideal world, Donald Trump wouldn't be president. <laughs> <laughs> and then he also said, there's another weird quote from Michael Random asked Michael Bennett. He said, "Israel is the one essential country on the planet." Well, essential. Well, hold on. Essential to the degree that they do sell a, a lot of soaps and essential oils at mall <laughs> kiosks. Like, do you want a massage? Is is it that a big mar Im import export thing? In I mean, they Israel? export like IDF Oils? teens to hawk soap and massages <laughs> at the mall. <laughs> And also gay porn. We love to see yeah. it. Really nice, really nice stuff. Yeah. I'm not going to do any Israel shilling tonight. Um, John tonight. Hickenlooper. He's mm. so so. Bennett is sort of like the underling of Hickenlooper because they're both like Colorado Dems. Yeah, and they'll both be on the debate stage together. Very interesting stuff. Yeah. How will these two guys from Colorado? How will this father <laughs> son <laughs> duo? <laughs> Wow, I wonder how things are going to shake out between these two people I've never heard of until a couple <laughs> hours ago. Uh, <laughs> between this old white guy and this younger white guy who looks as old as the old white guy. I don't know. <laughs> nah. Here's some facts about Hickenlooper. His mother was a Quaker. I think I said that earlier, actually. <laughs> um, he used to be a geologist, and now and then he struck it rich opening a brewery. <laughs> I have no idea. He sounds like a guy who hangs out in Brooklyn. 
He does. I have no and idea says what mean his things about podcasters or something. I don't know. <laughs> mean, beautiful, brave podcasters. <laughs> Uh, Swalwell, Eric Swalwell. He he tweeted. This is the guy. This is the dude. He should become president on the strength of this mm-hmm. tweet. He tweeted, "We're the Avengers." This is on the about the Democrats. We're, we're here to save America. The Republicans. That's the Hunger Games. He not only tweeted it. He said it many many times. And he made a big splash at the fish fry for me at least. Because when I saw that, I was like, "Holy shit! That's so crazy and stupid." <laughs> And now I really know who this person is. I wonder what else he has to say. Republicans are the Hunger Games. The Hunger Games, yeah. <laughs> totally. Um, so yeah. true, though. It's like, we're like Frozen and they're Mulan. It, <laughs> Harry Potter. It do be I, like that. I really knew I didn't like the look of this guy because he reminded me of that other kind of hammy, smarmy, presidential mm-hmm. hopeful mm-hmm. Um, called John Edwards, who had the famous... Uh, they look exactly like... It's like John Edwards wearing the skin of another guy who looks <laughs> like him for hope, like, doing another presidential bid. But he had that, like, very, like, disre- disreputable uh, paternity scandal when he had, he had, like, a baby extramaritally with some random chick who looked like Sheryl Crow, and it was, like, a whole thing. <laughs> I wasn't into politics then. So yeah, I we were that. like. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't trust stuff. anybody who's like that ginger. He looks like Chip from the show, that flipping show on HGTV. <laughs> the oh, Chip, only Dan understands this joke. Only, only gay. It's like a husband and wife. Yeah, the husband and wife. And she's duo. got black hair. Yeah, she's got black. She's and beautiful. he's kind of a goofy. He yeah. likes to goof around, and she's kind of all business. Yeah, he's like a smarmy ginger. Yeah. I've seen it. I used they used to play that when I got my pussy waxed. <laughs> so I developed like a Pavlovian like aversion to it because I associated like a, it with like, a Pavlovian attraction to Chip Gaines. <laughs> it's like Mr. A Gorbachev tear down this wall. Urge. Mr. Gorbachev tear up my pubes. <laughs> Mr. Gorbachev tear up this pussy. <laughs> and people think we're dangerous. I know we're so like hapless and retarded. We can't. We can barely open a door. If I get we were both pregnant, the door, the bathroom door, in the green room, we both. It was were too like, heavy. Our brittle <laughs> arms are too frail. Um, I, I like, just want to say, if, if I get pregnant, fascist. I hope that um, the state will intervene to forcibly terminate <laughs> my pregnancy because I am unfit you're to, to have a child, let alone run for president. <laughs> um, the door was heavy. It was heavy. And if we were fascists, like literally just get a heavy door. <laughs> we won't get through it. There's very little threat. <laughs> That's like how we'll, the Crusades we'll worked. Yeah. They had fortresses. Um, and easily Yang? thwarted. Oh, um, wait, I have another swallow oh. thing. Oh, I, yeah. I saw another video of him humiliating himself. He's so, I feel such a burning desire to bully and ridicule him. Um, where he was like, it was a brief clip and it was him saying I will be about how he's going to be honest and a straight shooter and he said I will be bold without the bull and then like what, that's not even silence funny. yeah and then he like <laughs> waited for people to applaud and no one did <laughs> obviously because that. <laughs> that's so stupid uh, and he's still harping on Russia Gay, which is like come on really annoying yeah we've been over it fake news no collusion rigged witch hunt uh, Yang, the 4chan candidate. Yeah. Uh, we have two candidates left. It's Yang and Marianne Williamson, who's the very Red Scare exciting. candidate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People have been saying that um, in a mean way to us, but we actually like, do like yeah. her. Because so. <laughs> she's vapid and uh, stupid. And like hot and Jewish. What's the problem? Is she Jewish? Yeah, she's Jewish. Oh. Believe it or not. Ripley's Believe It or Not, I Googled this and I like lost my shit. Um, okay, so Yang, Andrew we Yang. know the deal. We got UBI. It's yeah. a nice idea, but it's not socialism. He wants to give a thousand dollar handout to every single person. It was like Oprah, you get a thousand dollars. You get a thousand dollars. You get a thousand dollars. Uh, Marianne Williamson is um, Oprah's spiritual advisor. She's actually, I'm so happy you said guru, that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but back to Yang. Uh, yeah, it's good that we're having the UBI conversation. Yeah, I, I guess. I mean, UBI. I'm gonna need a lot more than a thousand dollars to like lie down and like give like Amazon free reign to like <laughs> ruin <laughs> the fabric to of society. To pulverize my pussy. Yeah, um, I'm gonna need a lot more than that. 
Uh, but it's UBI a good start. is like one of these things like reparations, which sounds great in theory and we're all for it. But like the minute that you put money into the hands of people, it seems that the market will adjust and drown out any gains. Well, that's why the cancel student debt is essentially like a kind of reparations. Yeah, for overeducated white millennials. No, the people who have the most student debt are black women. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, because, okay. That's yes. terrible. Awful. Yeah, overeducated white millennials kind of have like some middling amount of student debt usually, or none like us. Because my immigrant parents really busted their humps to give me that philosophy. You will not go I'm to Ivy League school. No, 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 no. We really dodged a bullet not going to Ivy League school. Um, but Yang is <laughs> smart. He's definitely smarter than us. So maybe he has some good ideas. I don't know. <laughs> he's smart and he's... My instincts, which are great, kind of like, eh. But he's really smart. He's... I mean, he's he's like basically redeemable for a tech bro, which like the bar is very low for those people, I guess. Or an angel investor yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Because they're like still like scrounge around slapping like QR codes on homeless people <laughs> and like <laughs> teaching prostitutes how to code. They think that everything will be solved if only people become like their own entrepreneurs. They love doing shit like that. Yeah. Um, and they really love bands like the Cold War Kids and like <laughs> Animal Collective that have not been a thing totally. since like 2011. Clap your know. hands, say yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, any other thoughts on Yang? No, it's none. good for him. For you know, he really got the. Once the memes got behind him, he really has like followers. He really made a splash. He really has fans. He really made a big splash. It's going to be really interesting to see how far he falls and how much he disgraces himself after this is all said and done. What do you mean disgraces himself? Well, he's going to end up doing something embarrassing, like doing like a porno with Farrah Abraham or Octomom <laughs> or something. Like He's not going to end well. He'll probably just start a think tank or some yeah. other fake thing. Yeah. Marianne Williamson. Um, she wants to give a hundred billion in reparations. <laughs> sure, why not? But like, what are you talking about? You're a self-help writer. Yeah. But I actually kind of believe in her because I do believe in harnessing the power of the secret to achieve <laughs> uh, amazing things. I've and been I think doing she Kegels, can manifest. And it's made me a stronger democratic contender. <laughs> Um, Mary Williamson is definitely the most Kegels of any yeah. Democratic candidate. Um, she's. It's a really a shame that like Dr. Phil and Dr. Oz can't run. So I guess Marianne Williamson is the the best case scenario after that. And she her platform is kind of a U.S. moral spiritual awakening. Yeah, is what she's peddling. How did she? How did she do it? I, how did she get Oprah up on gave her the vote. I wonder Oprah why said, Oprah won't run okay. for president. Oprah's too smart. She's like, fuck the shit. I don't want to like hold Debase public office. It's humiliating. It's so hard. It seems so hard. Yeah, I don't want to stretch a Klein Clyburn t-shirt over my big naturals. Like, fuck <laughs> this. I'm going to hang out in my backyard with my Cocker Spaniels and Stedman. Exactly. Are Oprah and Stedman still on? I hope so. I think so. I don't think anything could tear them apart. <laughs> Oprah's like political platform is giving everyone like a Prius and a cashmere sweater. <laughs> uh, Williamson is also an anti-vaxxer. She's an anti-vaxxer. And she had a great quote that... <laughs> Very yes. cool. Mm -hmm. She had a great quote that somebody um, added me on Twitter. Um, she said, we have been left exposed over the past few decades to hell posing as heaven of sexual license, leaving us to feel not so much liberated as unprotected. Many walls were torn down that we then made subconscious and dysfunctional efforts to build back up. Packing on the pounds is one of them. I was like, oh my god, that's the Red Scare motto. <laughs> <laughs> was that from one of her books? Probably. I probably. It's, I doubt that's something she said on the campaign yeah. trail. Yeah. But yeah, her books are probably have a lot of very questionable quotes in them I would, I would guess this one was really t it was like almost on the level of Jenny Holzer or Camille Paglia <laughs> my two queens I was like really like rolling in it a piece of power comes as no surprise yeah anyway good for her she's she should 
continue to run. She's hot. Yeah. Yeah, stay in, stay in that race. See how long you can. Yeah. <laughs> do, do no, drugs, she went on The full. View. Yeah. And talked about being an anti vaxxer. Okay. And then they kind of gave her shade for being like not a politician. And she was like, well, Donald Trump. Which is true. He's made it we possible. We all laughed at him new, too. And yeah. Look what happened. I love when he posts the video with um, the Pierre Gint with the ba 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 where it's that? like it's like a mashup of like him winning. He posts it like periodically every few months, and it starts off like it's with like a people being like Wagner, never, like Rachel Maddow being like Trump will never be president, and like George Clooney's like Trump's not gonna be president, and then it's like and then the music builds, and it's like oh Trump's winning, he's winning Wisconsin, he's winning. Oh. <laughs> oh my god it's great who's the guy who tweeted um, taxi driver to Mueller's revenge that was the funniest Yasha thing Levins. oh yeah that was Le- the f- Levine, yeah, Levine yeah. that was the funniest thing I've <laughs> seen in many years on Twitter we are gonna have him on too but he's out of the uh, um. country uh, so then there's some, a couple other people including Mike Gravel who did not make the cut for the debate mm-hmm Steve Bullock mm. sounds a little bit much like Steve Paddock. <laughs> That's all I have in my notes. <laughs> I was like, no way, not him. Yeah. Steve Paddock. That's Steve know. Bullock. Come on. Uh, Seth Moulton. Seth I think Myers. He, yeah. <laughs> Stephen Colbert running for president. John Stewart. Seth Moulton, who I believe is having a town hall the same night as the debates, maybe. He is an Iraq vet with absolutely haunted eyes. Yeah. <laughs> he looks so broken. Here's a, uh, here's a quote from him about why he's uh, venturing to run for president. I'm running because we have to beat Donald Trump. And I want us to beat Donald Trump because I love this country. <laughs> Sweet and simple. Straight Has it ever occurred point. to him that Donald Trump loves this country too? Yeah. I'm just kidding. He doesn't really love anything but like Diet Coke and McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> and comedy. He, he loves posting. He loves. He probably loved America at some point. But now, whatever part of his brain that love <laughs> was in <laughs> is like That's decayed. capable of love. Yeah. That's wow. It. There's we a make- Jamaican guy, too. I don't oh, know. Oh, yeah. Ugh. He was the we first black it. mayor of Miraman, Florida. Not bad. <laughs> and Gravel. I guess we'll save Gravel for when we finally get those teens in, yeah. our, in our grass. <laughs> we can really ask them what's up. Yeah. What's <laughs> the word on the street about the memes? <laughs> Whatever. Hello, like, fellow kids. Yeah, hello, We're fellow. young, too. <laughs> We're not that young, not just, me. My biological clock has just about yeah, run the no. fuck out. We're young. Yeah. We're young. You're not even old enough to be president. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's oh, young. God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we can't be president anyway because we weren't born here. So. Yeah, Sorry. that's true, yeah. <laughs> it's not really on us. <laughs> Is there her? Any hey. last remarks? I mean, we made it to the brutal end. <laughs> we really Successfully did. avoided a Marxist Q&A. <laughs> Does anybody Sorry. have any two-parters? Yeah. It's a question Does anyone have a question that's actually like more a of a statement? Because <laughs> we'd love to hear it. Anyway. Yeah. That's we have an elegant way of ending this. Yeah. See yeah. you in hell. We'll see you in hell. <laughs> Thanks for coming.